tell me what an alternate exterior angle is. If I were to draw a little diagram right here, I'm going to give us a little uh, refresher. It'd be something like these two angles, right? Okay. We're going to take a look at a diagram and we're going to figure out how to solve alternate exterior angle equations and how they relate to each other. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that real quick. You don't have to draw this, just, just absorb the knowledge, okay? I want you guys to think about how angles four and six relate to each other. I don't want to, I don't want any response right now. Just take a look at them. I'm about to show you exactly how they relate. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top line. First of all, let's talk about this for a second. The transversal is going to be the green line, right? It's the line that goes through the two parallel lines. Um, I'm going to take this red line. Again, we're asking how to four and six relate. I'm going to take it and drag it down. Notice that angle four becomes angle eight. Okay? Angle four becomes angle eight. And now, how do four and six relate to each other? Vertical. They're vertical, so therefore they are equal. That's the simple proof as to why alternate exterior angles equal each other. First of all, four and eight are corresponding angles, right? So they're the same and once we move it down, we can see that since 4 and 8 are corresponding and 8 and 6 are vertical, then 4 equals 6. Okay, the way we're going to write that is, and you can kind of just, you don't have to write every single part of this down, but basically since angles 4 and 2, are vertical, they are equal. And since angles 2 and angle 6 are corresponding, they are equal. The other way to look at this, I just realized I explained that in a completely different way, which works. Shh. Here's a different way of thinking about it. Can everybody see that 4 and 2 are vertical? Okay. Well, 2 becomes 6. Okay. So there's two ways to explain it. 4 and 2 are vertical and 2 and 6 are corresponding, so they're equal. The other way to explain it was the first way I explained it. 4 and 8 are corresponding, and 4 and 6 are vertical. It really doesn't matter which way you explain it. It's the same. I don't know. So let's do it this way. 4 and 2 are vertical, and 2 and 6 are corresponding, so therefore, 4 equals 6. I'll leave it there for a second so you guys can copy this down. This is true for all exterior angle equations angles they're equal to each other in a second yes so they're they're equal to for two reasons because of vertical and corresponding angle theorems so for that you could just say alternate exterior angles are equal for two reasons vertical and corresponding angles let's take a look at this example now that you guys have the concepts it's probably gonna be pretty obvious what x is equal. The question is, what is the value of x? So it's 115, okay, and that's because we've established now that we have two alternate exterior angles. We know these lines are parallel because of these arrows. We've already proven that alternate exterior angles are equal to each other. So once you prove something in math, you really don't have to go back and reprove it, but just as a refresher, if I wanted to draw a little diagram here, um, this angle and that angle, we could call it angle Y, are vertical, right? And Y and 115 are corresponding, so therefore they're equal. So again, that's another reason why X is equal to 115. Okay. We've been solving equations for a while. You guys have been doing a good job. We have A is equal to 3x minus 4, and B is equal to 5x minus 86. By now, you should know what to do. So what are you going to do with these two? Set them equal to each other, yes. 
again, you can kind of visualize this and see. See, sometimes you guys are, I mean, this was few and far between. Like I said, you guys did good on the test for the most part. But sometimes if you just do this, you'll realize that that angle plus that angle doesn't equal 180. I've seen that mistake a few times. But, like, you can visually see that they don't add up to 180. They look like they're equal to each other. So sometimes just marking the angle out will help you see that if they look like they're equal to each other, let's think about the corresponding angle. I'm sorry, the uh, alternate interior <laughs> angle theorem. So step one. First of all, let's let's read the direction. It says solve for x and then find the value of angle b. By now you should be used to, okay, we're going to solve for x and we're going to plug it back into that equation to figure out what b is. Okay, so for step one, we're going to set the angles equations equal to each other. So we got 3x minus 4 equals 5x minus, minus 86. Okay, listen up. Step 2, solve for the variable. So that means we're going to solve for x. Again, a lot of different ways to do this. Um, Hmm. Let's go ahead and subtract 3x. Whoops. Okay. Subtract 3x. We're going to end up with negative 4 equals 2x minus 86. Okay. What would you do next? Somebody want to raise their hand and chip in? Jessica? Yeah, you could add the 4, but you want the x's and the constants on opposite sides. So let's add the 86. Okay, so we got 82 equals 2x. Final step. Divide by what? Divide by the coefficient of x, which is 2. 41 equals x. Because I was distracted by students talking. That I think that's yeah, that's what I did. I put a one instead of an equal sign. Thank you. Okay. All right. Step three. So now we're going to plug it back into the expression, and since a and b are equal, it doesn't really matter what we plug it into. We'll go ahead and plug it into the 5x minus 86 because it's asking for b. So I'll just go ahead and rewrite the expression real quick. Okay, and we will plug the 41 in there. Okay, so that's not a good b. Let's try that again. 5 times 41. Well, 5 times 40 is 200, plus 5 is 205, yes. <clears throat> okay, 205 minus, minus 86. Well, 205 minus 85 is 120. Right, 119, so you subtract one more than that. And that solves the problem. Just is this actually the exactly the same steps as when we're solving corresponding angle equations because they're equal to each other? The difference is they're often exterior, so there's one more step in showing why they are equal to each other. Any questions on that one? Mm -hmm.